Oh, hey there. Uh, this is Cory Doctorow, and uh, I wrote this book, Little Brother. That's your uh, one book, one school book this year. And your teachers and, and librarians have asked me to say a few words to you about the book and how I came to write it. So uh, I'm a science fiction writer, but I'm also somebody who cares a lot about technology and about freedom, as you'll understand when you've come to read the, bo read the book. And I feel like um, there's been this long-running question for so long as I've been listening to this stuff. There's been this long-running question about technology and freedom, and that's will technology make us more free or will it make us less free? Is technology a tool that helps us communicate in private and uh, keep secrets from people who don't have our best interests at heart? Or is technology a tool that lets uh, people who are already powerful spy on everything we do and uh, all the people we know and everything we're thinking? And it seems to me the answer to both of those questions is yes. I mean, obviously, right? Technology obviously can, on the one hand, let us have privacy like we've never had it before. I mean, it's a pretty amazing thing when you think about it. It seems like the universe actually wants us to have secrets, right? If you use good, strong cryptography, if you use tools like PGP for your email and Tails for an operating system and Tor to get outside of your school censoring firewall, uh, you can have a kind of privacy that like nobody's ever really experienced before except for a few very rich, very powerful people. I mean, we can scramble a message so well that if you took every hydrogen atom in the universe and uh, turn it into a computer and put it to work doing nothing but trying to scramble that, descramble that message by brute force, that you know you would uh, like run out of universe before you ran out of possible ways that that message could be descrambled. That's pretty awesome. Now, on the other hand, if you've been paying attention since last June when Edward Snowden came in out of the cold, you've learned that like the phone network is basically a surveillance system that we sometimes get to make calls on. And your computer can be hijacked so that people can watch you through the camera and listen to you through the mic and kind of invade your privacy in every horrible way you can possibly imagine. So it seems to me the right kind of question to be asking is not, do computers make us more free or less free? But how do we make it so that computers make us more free instead of less free? What can we do? And that's what Little Brother is about. Little Brother is a book about someone who finds that computers are being used to make him and all of his friends less free and who decides that he's going to make uh, himself more free. It's a book about a kid about your age who figures out how to use off-the-shelf computer technology to build a guerrilla army that kicks the NSA and the Department of Homeland Security out of San Francisco and restores the Bill of Rights to America. So I hope you enjoy reading it, and I'm looking forward to talking to you in the fall. And uh, thank you very much. Bye.